Welcome to the video tutorial on Picnic. In previous Picnic tutorials, you learned how to upload pictures and edit them. In this tutorial, you will learn how to make collages, save them, and send them. First, we need to open an internet browser. I'm going to use Firefox. So I double click on Firefox. Let's move my window. I'm going to type in www.picnic.com. Hit Get Started Now to begin. It's loading. I'm going to sign in so it knows who I am. Enter your username and password. Sign in. I want to learn how to make a collage, so I'm going to hit collage. I have three pictures that I want to use in my collage, so I'm going to choose this one. I only have one picture in my photo basket, so I have to upload a couple more. So hit upload photos. I save my pictures on the desktop. This is as if I was a language arts teacher. This is my first picture. So I double click it. I still need two more, so I'm going to hit upload photos again. The next one I want is titled reading, so I double click. And my last one it's also on my desktop, and it's titled Writing, so I double-click again. Now, to put my pictures in my collage, all I have to do is put my mouse on the picture and drag it to the spot I want it to go in. So first I want this one. I'm going to click it and drag it. Because it has a green plus sign, that means it's good there, so I let go. I do the same thing with my other pictures. I want this one on the bottom. See how it has a red X? Once I put it in the right spot, it'll get a green plus sign. This is my last picture I want to use. So I click and drag. Now that I have my pictures, I can mess around with the effects. If I want to change the spacing, I use this part right here. I think they're a little too close, so I'm going to give it just a little bit of spacing. Right about there. I can also change my background. It looks a little dull to me, so I would like to change it to, that's a good color. All you have to do is take your mouse and go right through there until you find something you like. That's about what I want, and you just let go. You can also mess with the proportions. Make it skinnier or wider. I like it right about there. Just let go. The last thing you can do is the kookiness. And that just makes them a little funky. Or very funky. I just want them to be normal, so I'm going to put it right back. Now, I can just click done. You can work with all the editing in creations just like we did in other tu tutorials. You can crop, rotate, resize, and so on. You can also go to create and work with those as well. Now save and share. This time I want to show you how to print. So at the top click print photo. You can order your pictures in all different um, ways, or you can print from your own computer. And you do that by scrolling down, fill page, scale my photo, and hit print photo. 
I don't want to print it because I'm not hooked up to a printer, but that's exactly how you would do it. Let's go back to home. As you can see, my picture and my collage is right here. So let's say now I want to learn how to send it to a friend. So let's click continue editing. Go to save and share again. And just up top, we've already learned how to save it to your computer and print photo. Now I want to show you how to email. So click email photo. And the cool thing about this is not only will it send your pictures, but it'll send the whole collage that you've created. Let's say I want to send it to J Smith at radford.edu. You can also send a copy to yourself. Click your image size and you can leave your name. Lindsay. Now scroll down and hit email photo. Hit sending. It's still sending. Email sent. Now you can either close your photo or continue editing. In this tutorial, you learned how to make collages, email your photos, and print your photos. Thank you.